Ladies and gentlemen, let us broaden a bit the scope and uh, let us look at uh, the theme of our panel today uh, in a broader context. But first of all, allow me to congratulate the organizers, Yanis and his uh, excellent team for the work they have been doing. We as the Black Sea Economic Cooperation feel a bit responsible for uh, your birth and also for the continuing of your life. After all, we could not uh, desist in supporting you because uh, one of our business is also the promotion of cooperation in the broader Black Sea region. So thanks again and congratulations. So the magical word is, word is uh, connectivity. How to improve connectivity in uh, this uh, geostrategic region, which, uh, as Sivardia said before, is the interconnector, the natural bridge that straddles three very important continents of our small world, Asia, Europe, and Africa. If it was a linear, predictable world, I think that we wouldn't have any issue to discuss today. All these would have been solved. But unfortunately, it is not a linear world. It's a very unpredictable world, which has become also very volatile, especially in this, uh, in this region. And uh, I believe that uh, Minister Pizziorlos described it very accurately, giving the background of why we are facing all uh, these uh, challenges today. It reminded me of a phrase by a well-known uh, European statesman who said that the region generates too much history in order to be able to cope with it. I usually paraphrase this and say that uh, the region has suffered too much foreign intervention, which it could not cope with, unfortunately. There is no doubt that we lag behind in what concerns connectivity, as we can find it in other parts of our world. Um, and of course, one of uh, uh, the efforts to address all these challenges was uh, the birth of uh, the organization that I have the honor to represent, the Black Sea Economic Cooperation, in the faraway 1992. Just remember all these uh, uh, um, uh, changes that took uh, place on the European continent and this uh, strike of genius of uh, leaders in the area to try and uh, organize uh, their cooperation in this uh, uh, geostrategic region of our small world, as I said, uh, in a more institutional way. And of course, being an organization promoting the economic, in the widest sense of the term, cooperation among its member states and beyond, you very well understand that the facilitation of transports and trade was one of uh, the key, let us say, fields, sectors to which uh, our member states uh, attached greater importance and focused their attention. And in these last 26 years, I believe uh, the organization has done a lot. We have established useful, important networks. We have, in various ways, diminished bureaucracy and red tape. We are working on the two pet projects of our organization, which is the Black Sea Ring Highway and the Motorways of the Sea. We are trying to implement, introduce, the single window system, which will be very, very important. We are trying to uh, uh, establish multimodal transport because uh, we have to acknowledge that uh, the importance of this area has uh, increased also because of uh, the uh, initiative that was mentioned again by uh, Minister Pizziorlas, the uh, One Belt, One Road initiative, let me say that 
I don't very much understand the title. First of all, it is a very, very wide belt, and speaking of belts in Greece is a very tricky issue. When we talk of belts, it is always tightening our belts here in Greece. And it certainly isn't a route. We are talking about many alternative routes, starting from the, uh, let me say, Russian Arctic and going all the way down to the Indian Maritime Silk Route, which ends as uh, or commences, as uh, Minister Pizziotto uh, said, in the port of Pyraeus. So all this new initiative, which hopefully will not become another point of friction between Brussels and the eastern part of Europe, because uh, we are detecting this kind of danger, unfortunately, all this has added to the importance of our region. And all this makes uh, the challenge, but also the responsibility for, uh, for every one of us, much more important. We have to find solutions. <coughs> Minister Pizziorlis mentioned the crux of the problem. It's political. And I fully agree. But it's not only political. The crux of the problem for me is the lack of visionary political leadership. And it is also the existence of too much hypocrisy and double standards in the way we talk to each other. The example of my organization, I believe, is very, how can I say, evident in this respect. We are meeting many, many times a year. We are talking about cooperation, but we are acting very little about cooperation. We have uh, to be more consistent with uh, all the arguments that are, how can I say, focused only on the establishment of better cooperative relationships between uh, our member states. If we want connectivity, we want it with somebody else. We want it with our neighbor or with another country farther away. So uh, cooperation among states is a must. And uh, we don't need uh, any more conventions or agreements. I believe that all the necessary legal framework is there. We have all the necessary mechanisms that are there. And let me say that the Black Sea Economic Organization is one such mechanism. We have gathered for 26 years a great uh, portion of experience and know-how we are and could be able to promote in a more tangible way the cooperation among our member states and beyond. Let me give you an example. I mentioned the Black Sea Ring Highway. This is actually a project which means the upgrading of existing roads, the upgrading to certain, let us call them, European standards. In some parts, in some member states, this road already exists, this highway already exists. In others, it does not. And uh, we are still struggling how to promote the construction or the upgrading of uh, this ring highway, which we all acknowledge is very, of great importance in uh, the member states where it is still lagging behind. Where the means are there, the possibilities are there, but we fail to see the collective picture. So um, my appeal and message to uh, my member states, but also to other stakeholders in the region, in the Balkans, and in the Black Sea is, let us make better use of the existing mechanisms. Let us take advantage of what is uh, there already, and uh, let us work uh, with greater sincerity among all the stakeholders in order to achieve what uh, we should have uh, achieved a long time ago. Thank you very much. <laughs>